Hey everybody, I'm Octavia Klein and I'm gonna show you today how to make a reel using still photos. For some reason, I get a lot of questions on this, so I'm gonna show you, it's super simple. I can even show you how to get past the 10 photo limit that's on Instagram. If you don't know anything about Instagram Reels and you wanna know, learn about the whole app, I have a much longer video that walks you through the entire app, but today I'm just gonna show you how to do photos. And if you want to take better photos, and I've been a photographer for 12 years, if you wanna take better photos with your smartphone, you can grab my freebie guide below as well. So let's get started. We're gonna swipe left and we're going to go to real and in here i'm going to push down here on this box below with the blue plus sign and that's going to take me to my photos i can also go over to a pre-made folder if i had done that uh, but i'm just going to select a few of these images uh, and what i want to do is i'm going to push up here at the top where it says select and that is going to help me to select multiple images so i'm just selecting some photos from a branding shoot that i did recently and I'm gonna push this arrow here on the bottom. Here, I can sync the clips with some suggested music if I want, or I can skip that. So let's see here, I'm gonna put it with this and go ahead and go over. And now I've got my photos in here. I can go to edit video, just tap on one of these photos. I can make it a little shorter. Now personally, when doing photos, I like the photo length to be no more than two seconds. I just think people have a short attention span and you wanna make your reels as quick as possible. I'm gonna give each photo a two second timer. So I'm gonna go ahead and push each one and put it to two seconds. You could choose a transition for them all and apply to all. And I'm gonna keep going here and put these to two seconds. And now I'm gonna push play and we can see how it looks. So this is how each one looks. And that's my video. So then I would just push this arrow here. I could push next, I can edit my cover photo. I can tag people, do all those beautiful things and either save the draft or share. So now I'm gonna show you how I do this in InShot. I love doing reels in InShot. It's just, sometimes just makes it easier, smoother. It's an easier app to do it in. If you are somebody who like, you're watching me do this and you don't have all the buttons and features that are in my Instagram app that are on your Instagram app and your phone, it might be because Instagram has not given the update yet for your phone. So they do different updates for the app and they don't release them all at the same time. And InShot is the same for every app. So you can do it in InShot and then add it to Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or wherever you wanna do it. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and push the app for InShot. I'm gonna push video. I'm gonna push new. And here are all my photos that are in here, but I'm gonna go over to photos because we wanna do still photos and I can push all. And so I'm gonna go ahead and check those. These are from the shoot. And we're gonna load those in. And here's one thing. Now, right now, this photo you see right here is horizontal. And I want it to be vertical because that's what it's gonna show up. That's how it's gonna show up on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and push canvas here on the bottom left. And I'm gonna do this 916, which is for um, Instagram. And right now you see this black area here. So what I wanna do is push zoom and then I can zoom in on this so that it fills the space, okay? And I'm just gonna fix each photo kind of individually to make sure that it fits in the ratio that I want it to. Okay, so now I have that finished. I've got all my pictures sized. And now I can just scroll back over here and play it and I can see how it's gonna look. So I've got my photos in here. Now again, with photos, one thing I am gonna do is I'm gonna push duration on this. And right now it's at five seconds per photo and I'm gonna push 2.2 seconds, sorry, two seconds for each one. I'm gonna apply that to all. And now that's done. So this is just gonna go a little bit quicker so you can just check out, there it is. Now I've got the free version of InShot and it's fine. It's gonna have that little watermark on the bottom. So if you don't want that, you can get the paid version. One, one of the nice things with it is you can do a paid version. I think it's like $34.99 for the lifetime, which is great. It's not a monthly fee, but that's how I can do that. So now what I can do is push this button, this arrow on the top right, and I can go ahead and save this to my camera and I can load it right into Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that. I'm gonna go right back over to Instagram. I'm gonna push real, I'm gonna load, and here it is right here, and we're gonna push next, and now I've got my video in Instagram. And so that's how you do that. Now there's one more way you could do this, okay? So if you didn't wanna do the other app, 
you could just do a screen record. Now, I don't know how to do a screen, screen record on Android. You can look that up, or if you know how to do that, that's great. But basically, for the iPhone, if you just swipe down here in the right corner and you do screen record, which I'm already doing, I'm going to do it one more time, um, you can come over to your photos and you can just do this and screen record each one and just swiping over and screen recording. And then you can download that with screen record and put it into your reel. So I hope that is helpful for you. Go ahead and watch my next video if you want to learn more about reels. I've got more videos on this and please be sure to like and subscribe.